Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R50, size 18. This is the RS2. An absolutely fantastic pattern. I've got Shear 40 naught uh, Olive. Start this just a wee ways behind the hook eye. And we'll go about halfway. Then we'll remove that, keep that bit of thread that you cut off. And we need two fibbits. These want to be about twice the length of the hook shank. And we want these. Just tack those in. Now, a lot of people tie these with one tail each side. Uh, I like it with two tails each side. So there's two fibbits in each, there's two more. Want these about the same length. So we just adjust my thread. Just tie those in. Then what we can do very gently is we can adjust these. To the length that we want. A little bit shorter. Put it that way so I can see better. There we go. So then we can just Secure those. And back. To about the barb. And we can just go up a wee ways. Take our piece of tying thread round the hook shank and we want to split the two or well, the four tails into two and two. There we go. Let's just have a look here. There we are. Oh, I got you. So then we can pull our thread up until we get the right, more or less the right uh, angle on the tails. A couple of loose turns and then we can tighten up just by pulling the tying thread and position the tails. That's perfect. So then we can secure that. Lift those up. And trim them off. And you can see the tails there. That's good. So we can go wee ways back. And I'm going to use a super fine dubbing. This is brown olive and I just twist that on slide it up we go back catch this in and then I can tighten up the dubbing now I want that to go into a very fine dubbing rope and we go around and under the tails 
just to pull them up and just tighten that up again and then we can go forward it's very easy to overdub this pattern so less is more and then when we come to approaching the thorax we want quite a fat thorax on this pattern like so I've got a little bunch of uh, all, um, light blue olive uh, light blue dun CDC which I'll just secure there like that I need a little bit more olive brown super fine and again we'll just attach that catch it in and then I'll spin that dubbing up again I'll make a couple of turns in front and then we'll lift all that around the back to hold the wing up two times and we come forward build up that thorax again to that swollen and then we take our whip finisher You could tie this in much smaller pattern, uh, much smaller hook sizes, down to a 26 even, and it's a fantastic pattern. We we'll just remove that, then we collect our wing, and not want that tail with me. Hold the wing up, and then we want to trim that off like that. And that's it, that's the RS2 that was uh, originally designed uh, by Rim Chung as a uh, Baetis a merger, but it is a fantastic pattern in the smaller sizes for midges and uh, these sizes 18, uh, even 16 I believe uh, for mayflies. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.